like when they got to camp, did they have them in their locker? No, we didn't. We didn't get it done in time for that. Uh, mostly because Jordan and uh, Handgarner were behind on their chapters that they were in charge of, so we had to push it back a little bit further. Uh, but they're coming. So at September 6th comes. We'll make sure every one of them. But we're gonna do like uh, maybe some like group readings with the young guys. <laughs> They'll have to like popcorn each other and. <laughs> Will it be like a book club? Yeah, it'll be like a book club for the young guys and go over just some simple, basic, how not to be an idiot kind of scenarios. What's the best anecdote in it? Um, I love the parts about the uh, off-season drug testing. I don't think a lot of people realize how awkward that whole scenario is of just some random stranger coming to your house and you having to explain to your children, if you have kids, why you have to go into the bathroom with a strange man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's yeah, that's a fun one. And then if you don't have to go to the bathroom, it's really awkward because you gotta sit around with this guy that you don't know forever <laughs> until you have to go. So that's good, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite parts. What was it like working with Jordan again? It was good, it was good. We talked about doing this a long time. Uh, it started off as a joke, we had like a little 10 page like rookie handbook just specifically for the offensive line meeting room and we always said we should do a book later like a full-fledged book you know the NFL is such a revolving door of guys so <clears throat> this book I thought we did a good job of sort of picking up from a lot of different teams around the league even though I've only been here my whole career um, we tried to really make sure that we were including stuff that wasn't just Carolina Panthers um, but so anyways, those guys retired, and obviously they had a ton of time on their hands, and they said, yeah, we should really do that book now. <laughs> like, oh yeah, of course, now. But uh, it was fun. It was fun to sit down and reminisce with all the guys, and um, it was good. Did you have to take an IV today? I did, yeah, it was hot. Yeah. It was warm. There was a bunch of guys that took some IVs. Was that pretty typical, or I mean, how often have you had to do that in past? Yeah, years? probably every every camp in Spartanburg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done an IV at least one one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you think the offense performed today? Uh, good. I think I think we did well. It's you know it's there's always certain things you're working on or trying to get better. It's hard to kind of say overall picture. Everything's schemed up, you know. So. Um, Outside of an actual game, it's always tough to tell. Um, but there's aspects of the offense we're working on, and trying to be more consistent. And um, uh, you know, one thing we're doing offensively is we've changed up almost all of our <coughs> code words and um, no huddle stuff. So that's it's kind of been like a new playbook altogether. So you know, we've used a lot of the same code words over the years, and with all the in audio stuff that other teams get to pick up on TV, we really spent all this off season changing all the terminology so um, that's been probably the toughest part of camp because you want to play fast but a lot of that stuff isn't so quick um, but yeah we're getting better at it. Did you figure out 